Hello and welcome to Sullivan's Farm again. Uh, I've just checked the forecast and it's apparently going to be lashing rain uh, Sunday morning. So as, as you're watching this, it's, it's probably lashing outside the window. So I thought I'd, I'd just do a quick video on the Saturday evening while the sun was shining. Um, we'll make videos while the sun shines, if you will <laughs> pardon the very bad pun. Um, I'm just out here feeding the calves and seeing what way grass is. So I was going to shift the fence, but Bit of a shock in that fence there lads um i'm not they, they, they've enough there till till tomorrow and um we'll move the fence then if there's a break in the rain at some stage then uh so just to go back to what i mentioned in the video during the week there after we weighed the calves um i've done the sums since then and the averages and all that kind of thing and i think as i said the heaviest was around 220 kgs the lightest was 120 so 100 kg is pretty much twice the weight one is twice the weight of the other um, despite getting the same amount of milk, the same amount of TLC, the same amount of meal and all that kind of stuff, vaccinations and everything. So there are some of the, the bigger ones in the background. Um, obviously the bulls did better than the heifers, that's, that's just nature I guess as well. Um, but I, I guess what, what's really kind of in my head now is, is um, how much of a, a lottery it is buying calves at the mart. And really I guess, as the more I thought about it, it's not even... Uh, like a lottery it's worse than a lottery given that the the dam the cow that uh, a 14 day old calf sold at the mart comes from is not likely to be um, a nice solid British Frisian that that will give you a nice solid calf and a nice solid bullock or, or heifer out of that um, it's very unlikely that the the beef breeds out of that um, no matter what kind of a bull you use is not going to do the business for you either if it's a, a very small cow or, or a very big um, tall type of cow and, and we won't mention any breeds or anything for, for fear of offending anybody um, but if the cap fits I, I suppose you, you have an idea of what, what we're talking about there so really what, what you're aiming for or what I'm aiming for is, is, is an all going well I, I think I'm in that position is to buy calves directly uh, from a dairy farmer next year and we'll, we'll, we'll have a better idea then of the, the type of animal we're getting in and, and what we can and what we can't do with that animal. So there's a couple of, there's a nice Belgian blue heifer, I think, in the mix there in the middle. A um, couple of other ones, the bigger Belgian blue ones there didn't weigh as heavy as I thought. Um, they're kind of a bit leggy and a bit framey, um, more so than, than anything else. So I think you can see them there. The, the black and white one is, is more... Uh, the type that's going to leave a nice little margin compared to the, the two comrades that were from a different herd, admittedly, uh, that, that were just, I think they were around 180 kgs. But anyway, the average overall was 160. Um, so I checked last year's figures and when I weighed them, I think pretty much more or less on the same day last year, around the 8th or 9th of September, they were a little bit, uh, a little bit less than, than what we have at the moment so um, I'm, I'm convincing myself that there's some bit of progress being made um, so there are the calves they're, they're still getting their kilo a day the the ground is drying up a little bit again after all the rain we had and um, all going well we'll we'll shift the fence from tomorrow they'll go above the the wire there we'll shift the trucks uh, the meal bill still in the same place and um, we, we might do now is go up and see the cattle and see if we can figure out which of those uh, see if your, your stockman judging skills are any good and you, you, you can guess the weight or, or guess the grade or you can estimate the grade. I don't know the grade myself, I know the weights. But um, anyway, we'll talk to you in a minute. We'll, we'll go up and see those now. So thanks. We will go with full disclosure. I've four picked out from the, the bunch of 30 that I thought needed a little bit of extra TLC. Uh, so they're getting an extra few cubes in here themselves in a paddock on their own and uh, Hopefully that'll that'll help them to maybe not quite catch up with their comrades out in the other field But it'll certainly give them a chance to, to do their own thing and uh, Not get pushed around as much by the the older ones. So that's just the, the four of them. So hopefully the extra TLC will help them We are just walking in now through the, the new entrance to the shed. Uh, still waiting on the barriers and the, the dividing gates, uh, but I'm assured they're on the way. So we won't need them for a while yet, but the sooner they're in, I suppose, the, the sooner we can, we can start thinking about water and winter and various other bits and pieces. So 
still a little bit of gravel left from when we were getting the pillars ready. I'm reliably informed it's called 803, or is it 804 uh, in, the, in the business? So if, if you know which it is, let me know so I won't be like a fool going around the next time calling it dust or gravel or stone or whatever it is. So we'll go out through this field here now and um, we'll have a look at the cattle. Just walking over to the, the cattle now. Um, they hear me coming or they see me and they expect to be moving into um, a bit of fresh grass, but yeah, there's enough here overnight for them. Um, we never make them skin the ground here, but at the same time, we don't want to spoil them and have them moving every time you walk into the field to look at them. Um, we don't want spoiled toddlers around the place. So apologies now if the light kind of changes and it's hard to see at times. The, the sun is just kind of setting, setting in the, the west. Um, as, as, as we're standing looking at it here, obviously. So uh, it only sets in the west around here. Um, so we'll go in for a closer look. We'll, we'll see if we can pick out a few tag numbers and then check them back to see what kind of weights they were when they were up on the scales during the week, so. As ever, the, the first ones over for a look are a couple of limousine heifers. I bought three of them. There was three of them in a pen when I bought them there, uh, God, 18 months ago now, so. There's, there's, we won't show you the tags because of GDPR and all that kind of thing, but they're the best of them. Um, and they range, I don't know which is which, there's a fourth one. She never kind of did as well, but sure, she did all right. She did her own thing. Um, but there's one now. So I think she's nearly one of the biggest of them there. And I think anybody want to guess at a weight of her? Will we pause? She's about, I think as far as I remember, 456 kgs. So that's going well. Um, Little Jersey one here, a remnant from when I was thinking about going milking cows. She's actually turned into a, a little kind of a chubby thing as well. So I think she was around 340 kgs. Um, hard to see her there the way the light is, but it's more likely she'll be kind of fattened now and, and sent for beef at some stage. She'll be a pea grade, but sure, look, she'll turn into something anyway. Um, so that's that one. There's another one of the limousine heifers. That did fairly well. I think there was there was one of them a little bit lighter. She's around 440 kgs, but there wasn't much between them. I, I was pleasantly surprised. They they all did about a kilo a day in, in daily weight gain since they were turned out and weighed back in March. Um, another one here, 1459. Oh, shouldn't have said her tag number. Uh, we'll have to erase that. Um, but the markings on her face apparently indicate that she's out of a Jersey cow. Um, but she's obviously a white-head white -head bull is the daddy, but she, she did okay too. I think she's around 420 kgs. Um, so again, not too far off the, not too far off the mark. Um, we any others worth, worth looking at? The little Jersey one, um, I don't know if we'll get up beside her there now. Oh, there's a Frisian one, that's the half a twin. And she was again around 340 kgs. And apparently she'll do, she'll do fairly okay once she starts to, to lay down a bit of flesh. Um, time will tell. Hello, Mrs. Tis a pity she would have been a nice cow. She's a friendly kind of a sort. A bit like myself, she's kind of friendly. Um, the little Kerry one, if we can get up beside her, she, she's not the most uh, friendly, shall we say, of, of, of animals. She's a little bit fiery and she might take off like a bullet or she might stand and get her picture taken or get herself on video. So there she's up there. She still has her, her fancy little Kerry horns. I, I don't know if it's a, a Kerry breed or not. Um, but uh, I guess the bottom line, whatever kind of a breed she is, she's only put on about 0.6 of a kilo a day since turnout last March. And I think she was one of the lightest. She was only something like 320 or 325 kgs. Hard to see her there in the light. I might just walk around and obviously she's probably not going to oblige, or she might. Um, she's not much to look at anyway. You're not missing much, lads, um, if you can see her there. But yeah, she was a bit of a disappointment. But sure, look, she's, she is what she is. She's as good as her, ma her mother made her, as they say around here. Um, so there's one. There's a couple of limousine bullocks um, I'd like to show you as well. There are a couple now um, that'll be going into the shed. And hopefully we'll try and finish them. What kind of a number have we here? Okay, I think if I recall, she's not far off the mark either. She was again touching the, the 420, 430 kg mark. 
Um, my plan, whether it is right or not, is, is to try and get the, the Whiteheads, the Herefords, to about 520, 530 kgs um, and then send them for slaughter after that. And that will give us a carcass of, of hopefully 250, 260, uh, maybe 270 kgs depending on the, um, the fat cover, I suppose, as well, and, and various other bits and pieces. Um, but I, I, I've been having a look on a discussion forum online as well. Um, thanks to everyone on boards, who, whoever, whoever do, logs in and has a look on, on the various discussions there. And the feeling, and you can kind of see it yourself, it's, it's hard to see on the camera there now, is that the, the whiteheads like that, um, they tend to go over fat very easily, so I don't plan on giving them any cubes or any meal uh, for fear they'd hit into a, above a four or, or even into a five uh, fat score where you, you get penalised in the factory at that. So I'm inclined to, to just leave them off on, on grass only and just see how they grade out from that. Like this is my first year finishing them. So we'll, it is all a bit of a learning curve as much as anything else. Um, the limousines, they'll need a few cubes, I think, all right, to try and finish them. The, I think, I thought I had more, but there's only one Angus animal around there. I was going through the cards when I was entering the weights and then looking up the weights on ICBF the other evening. Um, and it's all more or less all whiteheads and a couple of limousines after that, mostly heifers. Um, but I guess that's the, that's, that's kind of them. There's, there's not much more to see. You, you can take a guess at some of the other weights. Um, if you want, but your look, it is, it is very hard. Don't put yourself under any pressure. It is hard to um, to judge. But there's a nice red one now. She weighed surprisingly well too. Um, what's her number there? We'll try and try and figure out her weight. Because she's she's on a list. I, I drew up a list, I guess. Um, I think she was around, oh Jesus. We'll get them scanned anyway, just in case, but a few of them are still bulling away mad. Um, but we'll get them scanned just in case and there's a couple of them there with horns that'll have to be cut off as well so we'll get the vet to do that in the next few weeks but i guess what i spent maybe an hour trying to figure out then on on friday morning uh was was what to sell and what to keep what to let what to put into the shed and and what to try and finish uh before christmas um now as well as that we're, we're under a little bit of pressure when it comes to nitrates because we're we're we're, we're not far off the, the derogation limit we're not above it um, and we, we never will be that's not the plan anyway at this stage but we some of them will, will need to go soon just to, to make sure to give us that bit of a safety buffer there so the question then was what to sell and what to keep and, and whether to try and sell some of the smaller ones and then finish more of the bigger ones or, or sell the ones that were just the heaviest and, and draw a line under it so as I was kind of teasing it through and, and trying to make a bit of sense of it um, what helped a lot was was to look at the the finish, the target weights for the cattle themselves. So the whiteheads, I, I put them down in the spreadsheet as, as say 520 kgs. And that based on the weights then gave me an idea of how many days they are from say the, the target weight to get them out the gate. Um, the limousine bullocks obviously then would be much heavier than that. I, I kind of had them down, not in major, but like 660, 670 kgs. Um, the limousine heifers back more towards the, the, the high 500s, like 580, 590, maybe 600. Um, and it was really based on that then, I, I came up with a list of, of what's, uh, what's close enough to finish, what, what we can kind of get off grass before they go into the shed, and, and how much have we then to, to pay the bills and, and, and go from there. So that's, that's the plan. Um, now we'll see how all that goes. We have a, a TB test coming up on the 10th of October. And at one stage, I was thinking of, of trying to move on a, a batch of them just in case I, uh, there was any trouble or, or we were restricted after that. But I, I'm, not, I'm not going to, uh, for better or worse. And we'll, we'll just have to see how that goes. So, but look, that's, that's the cattle. You've seen the calves. I'm gonna go back inside now and um, try and edit all these videos together and sit down and maybe have a glass of wine with the dinner. Might go for a pint later on and sure look we'll 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 stay in at the rain as much as we can uh on sunday morning then again so thanks a million for listening or watching and if you have any comments or any ideas or, or anything at all just just throw it into the the comments section below um somebody told me it helps with the algorithm uh, and jesus lads it's all about the algorithm so if you can comment or like or subscribe or anything like that um apparently that'll be great so thanks very much good luck